Hi, this is Marcus Mathis. I'm product manager for Lumix in uh, Germany. And I want to show you some new features and some new lenses also, which we introduced now for the Fotokina. The one is the GH2, brand new camera, the successor of the GH1, already well-known camera in recording especially good videos and also having a very, very good photo function. Um, on top of that, we have new lenses, which is on the one hand the 3D lens, which is having um, the possibility of shooting 3D pictures. Then secondly, we have a pancake, which is very small and the lightest in, in the right now economy. So what is the uh, focal length on the pancake? The pancake is 14, which means on, uh, on 35 equivalent, 28 millimeters, so it's right, relatively wide angled right. and has like 2.5 okay. aperture, so also very bright. Okay. And the 3D lens too, the focal length on that? Yeah, is the focal length is 12.5, um, but it's equivalent to 65 millimeters in uh, 35 equivalent because um, you have two lenses and you have use the same sensor, okay. so it will not be doubled as usually under four thirds, but it will be um, yeah multiple multiple. So I see. 65, and it has an aperture of 12, which is uh, needed because for the 3D effect, we try to have the um, everything sharp, and it starts from 60 centimeters, so we have lots of possibilities for that. All right. And last uh, but not least, it's the 100 to 300. Um, OAS stabilized telezoom, which has a 4 to 5.6 5. 5. aperture and it's especially good for, I don't know, bird photography or everything that's far away and I want to keep it close okay. and ca capture it. Cool. Uh, tell me about some of the changes in the GH2, specifically like, you know, the video functions. I think that's what we're mostly interested in. Yeah. Okay, on the one hand, um, firstly maybe still saying that the autofocus was already very, very fast in all our G cameras, but now the GH2 has an even faster autofocus. It works with 120 um, hertz frames per second um, technology if you push the trigger, so the focus is still faster, just and, as a beginning. And in the GH2? Uh, GH1, what was the frequency for autofocus? It was always 60 frames per second, okay. so even after you um, hit the trigger, so this time, especially after you hit the trigger, it, the camera speeds up to have the even faster autofocus. Okay. But coming back to the, to the video possibilities, now we have the 1080 uh, 50i, and this time with 50, uh, 50 frames output from the sensor. It's still um, interlaced, so line one, three, five, and so on, and coming back to the line two, four. But um, it's much, much better, especially for fast-moving subjects, or if you turn the camera around, much smoother, and you have the full HD capacity. And also what's new in that uh, category is that we increased the megabit per second from 17 to now it's possible to have 24 megabit per second which especially means um, at the video uh, mode, which is the cinema mode, you can record with this uh, maximum ABC HD megapixel. And I guess I noticed when we were looking through the menu, uh, you were able to also adjust frame rate like more intuitively than before. Like they're actually clearly marked now and and then you are also able to like speed up the frame rates as well too, right? That's true. That's also a new function in the video. You can easily make like a um, yeah speed up the, the video function up to three hundred percent, or make a slow mo kind of slow mo movie with eighty percent. So also quite interesting. And um, yeah, that's basically about the video function, which has been improved. Cinema mode, by the way, is 24p, which is also something which is for ambi ambitious uh, filmmakers. It's a typical frame rate, and it has a special gradation curve, um, and that's also uh, mainly for those purposes. Okay. Um, I guess tell me too. Like, so you have the the uh, new screen here too, right? Like the screens from the G2. Yes, that's okay. true. We have uh, okay. Cameras turned off now. Um, we have the touch screen right now. Of course, it's again tilt and swift, but uh, you can of course set the um, the autofocus on a special point. And this is okay. This is autofocus tracking, so it tries to track some point, which then you can turn the camera. But if you go for single point, then of course you can set this um, autofocus to wherever you want to. And the good thing is that you can also do it via video, which okay. is something special 
um, any other cameras cannot offer that. Right, and actually something I appreciate because uh, this video is being shot on a GH1. So. Okay. Um, I guess it, it changes all the way. It changes the viewfinder. I think you mentioned something. That's true. The, the viewfinder has been enlarged a little bit. That the background is, of course, that if you shoot a video, you always use the 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio. And 16 by 9 makes more sense if you have a little bit wider uh, field. So that's mainly the idea. And that's it's wider, so we have the 16 by 9 and we have um, more space and a little bit bigger picture impression. Okay. Oh, and then I guess one last question too, the um, analog digital converter. The button I, there on was like the something. Micro is there. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 